Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds. We're on our way towards the uh, bandit camp we need to clear out. And it looks like I have a few obstacles in my way, because, yeah, this region is very, very uh, mountainy, if that's even a word. And I don't seem to be finding my way, so if I get any closer to the bandit camp, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so this looks more like it. I climbed all the way up and it seems like we have a straight shot at the Please bandit wait. camp right now. So, uh, see you guys over there in a second. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was heading towards the bandit camp, but one of those control towers actually knocked me off my mount. So that is interesting. Um, I could sneak up over there and try to take it out without triggering the the two fire ballow backs over here, which I am gonna try and do. Oh god, there's three of them. Oh god, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's so good. That's so good. So, uh, other plan. I'm gonna try and shoot out the power core. There we go. Then, I think I can actually take them out with frost bombs. And then a few uh, precision arrows to the back. Explosion! That's the bags underneath. Hi. And then... Oh, wow. Okay. Let's try and take out at least one now. There we go. Oh, I'm out of arrows. There we go. Let's try and go with a few blast bombs. Oh god. How are you still alive? There we go. Put a few arrows on there and then full power. Come on, come on, come on. I think there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Demonic Fire Ballow Bag. Okay, so let's um, gather materials and continue on our way to the Bandit Camp. Oh lord. So it looks like this is the Bandit Camp. And uh, you know what that means? It's time for a headshot compilation. They didn't spot me. Their devices scanned me. <laughs> Ooh, that was a sneaky headshot. Seems like there's an alarm over there. Take out the alarm. And try and take out the alarm. There we go. Rustling grass is always bad news. And then a silent stab in the face, stomach, face. 
Come on, man. Oh! What? Did he, did he just get alerted from the sound of me leveling up? What the hell was that? Goodbye. And then the final two. That one goes down. And then slowly, patiently make our way towards the boss guy, the leader. Uh, there he goes. Goodbye. Ooh, he's folding down backwards. I think that's it. Maybe I missed someone. Okay. Cleared out everything else in the camp, but the quest was leading me this way. No, no, no. I was stealthy. Smells peaceful. I hate peace. A lot of people die peacefully. Not me. Okay. I got a feeling. Search the camp. He's you got a feeling. Big enough for a trampler. Okay. So it does keep me in stealth, which is good. So let's mark all of them. Seem to be all heavy dudes. Could any of you find a charcoal pile in a flat field? I don't think so. Let's just take out this guy. Whoop. We might have trouble. No, no. You don't. There's something me. there. This is it. Oh god, all things are breaking loose. I think I want to lose some of their armor. Ooh, wow, he's carrying a flamethrower. Oh god, that's a blaze canister. Okay, there he goes, and then... There we go. Okay. Let's take it easy. Let's freeze him again and then. And then blast him. Bye. He won't be torching anything else. Wow. Okay, that was a uh, heavy weapon. enemy. Ooh, bandit leader's weapon box. I can have the flamethrower thingy. It is a nice camp, though. Even though it was just another bandit camp, it is a very nice camp. Well, I know I place where Warwick right. finds out I took out the Some bandit camp. Others. Okay. <laughs> So now we proved ourselves to the Werak. Yeah, there we go. Now it's ticked off. Go to Song's Edge. We might actually do that immediately now. Uh, I'm just going to check out these guys. 
And I'm guessing the weapon is just the same as the electric thing, but then fire. So indeed, the forge fire is the flame tower thing. I'm not gonna actually use it at the moment because I want to use my blaze for uh, bombs. Bombs all the way. But let's head to Song's Edge and I'll see you guys there in a second. So we're still, we're back in Song's Edge and we'll have to have a little chat with Aratak, I suppose. Is this Aratak? No, he's just as big, but that's not Aratak. There he is, sitting lazily on a tree stump. Hello, Aratak. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Oh, right, we need to challenge, challenge him. Fuck. For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Hello, Aurea. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. This is awesome. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Wait, is that literally brother and sister, or...? Brother and sister? Yeah, okay, literally. This is no, a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. Um, that's gonna be interesting. Aurea, you've lied to me. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Indeed. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. That's a dick move, Aurea. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. How did you get down here, actually? Because you don't look like a spry young woman anymore. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratak will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Okay, so it's not a one-on-one -on -one fight, that Maria, is. It's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. Which is still an excuse for you not telling us everything. She didn't apologize. She just assumed we wouldn't get to know that. Yeah. Go to the frost figure. So that's a dick move from Aria, because she still didn't apologize. She just said, yeah, I thought she wasn't gonna tell you, so I... I didn't tell you, and I didn't want you to know anyway. So uh, even though she told us she underestimated us, she still didn't back off from that. She still would have liked to see it the other way around, that we wouldn't have known that Aratak and Aria were brother and sister. Uh, are still brother and sister. But yeah, I think that's the end of the episode. We've uh, done quite a bit, because the bandit camp was a bit bigger than I expected. So uh, we challenged Aratak. And in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll go forward with that challenge. So, uh, see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. Look at the tall neck in the background walking around. Right over there. So, if you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. 
and uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.